Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy and in my channel I talk about plants and my life and journey with my plants. Um, this week has been a little bit interesting. Uh, last week, Wolfie went to the dentist and uh, he had some cavities that needed filling and it went super smooth. The dentist was so impressed by him. They said that they've seen so many kids because it's a children's dentist and that Wolfie was like particularly calm. So we were super proud of him. But a few days after going to the, probably the second day, I already noticed like a little bruise on his cheek. So it already didn't feel very good. Like I was wondering how hard they were working with his mouth. Maybe his cheek was just like easily bruised. But anyways, like a few days after that, he started getting like a lot of inflammation inside his mouth, huge canker sore on his lip. And he was just in excruciating pain. It's really, really hard to see. Like he could, it was really hard for him to eat it. He will wake up in the middle of the night and the pain would just be so intense that he'll start crying. But uh, finally yesterday he was feeling better. We've been giving him some children's Avil to help with the pain and he's been a really strong boy. But yeah, this week just has been a little bit challenging. We, none of us are, have been sleeping very well. And you know, like when you see a little kid and he's usually just so like positive and nice and sweet and happy. And for him to just be like grumpy and like upset all the time, is just really unusual and heartbreaking to see. Um, so that's how my week has been going. Like that's what, what's been going on mostly. Uh, what else did I want to tell you guys about this week? Oh, mm. we've been, it's been so hot here in BC. I feel like for probably two months, we haven't gotten any rain. Last week it rained a little bit, but this morning I woke up and it was raining so cozy and like a little bit cold. So and I'm like, oh my God, it's time for like some tea. Anyways, let's just talk about what we're here to talk about today, which is pond. But what is pond? Pond is a mineral stone substrate that you could supposedly use it to replace soil. Um, and I think most people, when I first heard about it, it was just Lachusa pond, which is, um, they have mineral stone. I think they have like, I read on their website, coated, um, fertilizer in the mix. So the, the substrate's already uh, got the nutrients in there for, for the plants. Um, I've heard about pond for, for a long time now. I have a few friends who I've met through our share passion for Hoyas. And they all really, really praise pond. And like many of them have told me to try, like it'll change my life. That's how amazing they, they say it is. So I was kind of like wanting to wait a little bit to see how, how, how everybody else is doing with pond. Oh, and another factor is that the choose a pond was like, I heard, I haven't even really checked. I heard that they're, they're a little bit expensive and also they, they are often sold out. So I've never even tried to um, purchase that. Uh, and I'm really much more attracted to the um, DIY idea. So I kind of just like park the idea of pond, you, you know, in the back. So I'm in this Hoya group called Hoya Obsessed, which is an amazing group. And I think there's a lot of Canadians in there, but then there's also Hoya lovers from all over the place. But the admin of the group, one day he posted um, this uh, recipe that he uses and he recommends us getting um, the zeolite and the lava rock from home hardware. And you can buy that in like a really big size bag for quite like quite reasonable price. So his recipe is one part zeolite and then one part lava rock and then one part orchiata, which is like a fine um, orchid bark. And he says that he finds that um, the Hoyas that are like such tree huggers. So having a bark element in the pond substrate, he finds that to be the perfect mixture. So he, and he actually sells this uh, mix that he makes uh, 
online and I tried to buy it, but for some reason I, I must have been, I don't know, not paying attention maybe. Um, I ended up buying two big bags of just the Orchiata instead of the Hoya mix that I want because I just wanted to try it out. I, I wasn't ready to like jump into buying the big bags of Zeola and Lava Rock to make my own pond because I wasn't even I'm not I wasn't even sure if I would like it. But so then I mistakenly bought the Orchiata and I just thought I'll just I I'll just use it as like something to mix into my soil mixture to make it airier. So I just left it there. But then I love um, Jungle Flowers Canada. She made a video about making pond and she's she's using the two like big bags of zeolite and lava rock that this um, admin from the Hoya group recommended. So, so that kind of like got me curious again. Um, and then she said that she was watching Wild Fern another like amazing Canadian YouTuber. So then I went to watch Wild Fern's Palm video and after watching their video, I was just kind of like, yeah, I want to do it too. And it looks like fun and I just, I want to do it. And it would be a worthwhile investment buying the big, two big bags because even if I don't like Palm, I could still use them uh, in my, the substrates that I want to make or just like at the bottom of my pot if the pot is too big. So I just decided that I will buy them from Home Hardware. So I'll put the links uh, in the description box below. Um, I, I call Home Hardware. They didn't have it in stock uh, in my local Home Hardware. So they ordered it for me and the next week I was able to pick that up. Yeah, so that's the story of how I came to making some pond for myself. So it's, it, it would be one part zeolite one part the black lava rock i think and then one part fine orchid bark in his recipe so this is what i try and i in the video you can see i'm i'm scooping it i did like a scoops of each to have them equal parts and like have like a big bulk amount it was actually um quite a lot harder to mix and rinse than i expected I, next time I would probably make a smaller um, quantity because the the lava rock and the zeolite they were so heavy. So to like rinse and like handle all that, it was it was, it was a little bit of work. Anyway, so then I just rinse them and and then they're good to go. Um, yeah, I have just started. I just potted everything. Um, so we'll see maybe in about a month to see how the roots are growing and if the plants are reacting to the to the pond. And, and uh, yeah, and uh, I only have a little bit, maybe one bag of the Orchiata left. Once that's done, I think I will also experiment with um, using different uh, formulas for the pond just to see, you know, how, how they work.
hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, uh, I'll let you guys know how how it's working out for these plants and I will see you guys soon again. Bye!